What it do, T-Squad? It's me, Color Me Pink, a.k.a. Keisha, and I am here with a new Spill the Tea video. We all know that season four of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is in full effect, and the first three episodes have been nothing short but magnificent. Well, Whitney Rose has once again put her foot in her mouth. This chick here. Um, A few days ago, she was at an event that she was doing business at and season three cast member jenny nugan i think that's how you pronounce her last name or nugen i forgot arrived and they took a picture together and everyone was in an uproar when the picture hit the internet if you don't remember the reason why jenny is no longer a part of the real housewives of salt lake city is because um, a Reddit user screenshotted uh, a bunch of offensive posts and memes shared by Jenny on her Facebook page in 2020. The posts, which were shared but not created by Jenny, range from standard issue Republican quakery to some really vile imagery and language a number of these are disturbing including many posts sharing derogatory misinformation about george floyd following his unaliving other low lights include an islamophobic meme falsely claiming colin kaepernick is muslim and using that to insult his nfl protests a pro pow pow meme with boogaloo adjacent language that says wait till 2021 pops off with a civil war and y'all pow pow haters have to defend your house with a spatula and dildo a blue lives matter flag a post full of q adjacent language about trump busting trafficked children and pedophile rings a post supporting a blm counter protest in which one member is yielding a confederate flag mm. yeah so that is the reason why jenny was fired plus she was very um aggressive towards mary cosby season two of the show and uh she even went as far as to throw a glass at Mary. Like, it was just ridiculous. So, once again, she was fired from the show. And like I said a few days ago, Whitney was at a business event that she was participating in and took a photo with Jenny. Here is the photograph. I must say, Jenny's new face looks great. Makeup is better. I see she got a little lip filler. Okay. Still a racist, but whatever. So, Jeannie posted the picture on her Instagram and captioned it, Congratulations at Whitney Wild Rose on your collaboration with A Monkey's Draper. Everything was amazing and beautiful. Keep doing fabulous and thriving like a route like a wild rose is supposed to. So, you know, based on this, it would seem like they're still good Judy's, um, like she was coming to support a friend. The picture was very friendly, very close. You know, it just seemed like they were still on great accord, according to the picture and the caption. Well, once everybody started attacking Whitney, she then went on her page and said, y'all shut the F up about Jenny. She is not my friend. I didn't invite her to this public event. She showed up, shocked the ish out of me, but showed remorse. I don't stand by her beliefs or what she has done. I snapped a photo and moved on. You should do the same. <laughs> Okay, girl. Well, I guess the um, negativity <laughs> did not stop. So she then did this video and let's watch it. You know what, everyone? I hate that I have to do this on a Saturday after enjoying a quiet day with my family. Um, but I call you haters because I am not friends with Jenny Wen. I did not invite her to my event. She showed up to my event that I was hosting, which was a public event with her own camera crew, okay? She came up to me, she apologized, she said she felt bad for everything that had happened. She is not my friend. I do not stand by what she had posted, her beliefs, 
But if someone says, I'm sorry, I'm gonna snap a photo and move on because what was I gonna do? Create a scene at my business event? No. She stood by me for a minute, snapped a photo, moved on. So you all should too. Thank you. Child, she thought she ate with that one. <laughs> if you don't go sit down somewhere, first of all, let's get this straight. Why is she apologizing to you? You're not black. You're a white woman. She hasn't even apologized to marry the one of the the only black cast member on your show who she did offend. Okay. Um. Let's start with that. Then on top of that, you talking about she was apologetic. What were you gonna do? Um. Okay, girl. Thanks for the apology, but no, I'm not taking no picture with you. Absolutely not. Why would I be hugged up in a photograph with you? First of all, I'm seeing that it's already self-serving because who comes to an event with your own camera crew and you talking about it was a genuine apology? Girl, shut up, Whitney. Shut up. And Mary was like, mm, so like you racist too. Mary most definitely uh, tweeted, uh, so you racist too. Got it. Because this makes no sense. I'm not going to sit up here and take no photograph with somebody that has spewed this type of hatred out into the world. I don't care how much you apologize. Okay, girl, thanks. Post it on Instagram. You know, tell the world you're sorry, but don't be telling me you're sorry. And why would you come to my event with a camera crew? Trying to get another 15 seconds of fame off of me and Whitney so dumb, she fell for it. She fell for it. You're stupid. Instead of being defensive and calling yourself cussing out everybody and telling everybody to get over it, you should have said, I wasn't thinking in the moment. She shocked me. I didn't know what to do. It was a lapse of judgment in the moment. I apologize to you all. Instead of trying to come at the world for checking you on a stupid decision that you made. You dummy. You're a big dummy. That's exactly what you are, little girl. <laughs> and you wonder why Mary stay eating you up because of stuff like this. And then what irks me about Whitney is that she never takes accountability for anything that she does. She always has some type of idiotic excuse. Nobody else in your cast would have dared even thought to take a picture next to her because they would have already known the ramifications of it. But you don't think, you dummy. Ooh, she's such an ignorant, ooh, ignoramus. Cannot stand her. What y'all think about all of this? Let's talk about it down below. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.